think I'm going to fix the old wheel here and pop that in just see if that makes any difference so to fix the old wheel we're gonna have to get that coating off there's a uh, little bit of a conformal coating protecting the uh, the board so let's see if I can just get under it a little yep like that See if we can peel it back. Just roll it off. There we are. So that's where we're going to solder to. So that's ready. Then this end. So what happened was this was soldered here like that. Uh, no, sorry, it was soldered like that and then it broke. So what we need to do is expose the conductor inside there. There's four wires. So the first thing I need to do is get it straight should already be straight but let's just make sure and trim that off that was all bent and crusty now just need to get those exposed so let's see how do I want to do that I could use a razor knife or I could sand it let's see what happens if I just Use the uh, back of the scissors here. Just need to scrape enough of that off. if I can figure out how to strip this apart better. All right, so I used uh, just a little razor knife and I was able, oh, come on, I was able to scrape enough of that off. Oh, all right. I was, did not mean to hit the autofocus button. There we are. So I was able to scrape enough of that off so that if it would freaking focus, you could see Now you can see it there. I was able to scrape enough of that back only on one side. What I'm kind of banking on is that the heat, when I go to solder it in, will make the plastic on the back roll back enough to get out of the way. But before we do that, we have to get the old uh, pieces out of the way. There's the old legs from the original connection still here. And we're just going to do it like that. There we are. Almost. One more. Little. Come on. There we are. I like the look of that. It's good. Let's get our wire that we're going to use in here and you guys can't see it. I want to uh, tin it a little. Let's see if I can get this in a position where I can tin it and you guys can see. Like that. So I'm hoping... Let's 
see. Yep, that's going to work. Uh, hang on. i got to do this off to the side. Okay, it's working a little too well. They're starting to blend together. So let me see if I can clean that up and separate those. Yep. Tweezers. Hey, tweezers, where'd you go? I don't know where my tweezers went. Well, we'll just do it one at a time. There's one. Oops, not quite. There's almost one. clean this wire up a little bit one moment all right so I had to do it off camera I'm sorry it just wasn't gonna happen on camera let's see if I can see I think I have a solder bridge there between the far right pin and the pin next to it Should be all right. We'll go check it with the meter. All right, so let's check from the connector end because that's really the end that matters. So it's going to be. These are only, I think, four or eight ohm. I'm not sure what side's common. Let's see what we got here. Four and a half. Eight. Eight. Alright, so this is common on the far right. So it's common. Coil, coil, coil. So we should have 4.6 ohms. That's right. 4.5. And 4.5. So my solder job's good. There's no short circuit. That means I'm just going to put a little glurp of CA glue over that. We're going to let that set up. And then I might try this color wheel again because that other one, ah, that picture's really weird. I don't know why that would be unless there's another, you know, issue that I'm not aware of. So let me set this off to the side. I'll be back.